So this question looks like a translate word problem question. I say that because it's greater than four lines long. And typically for translate word problem questions, in fact, anytime we see a large word problem like this, what we want to do is we want to achieve translating every bit of quantitative information that we get so that we don't have to go back and reread the question. And by translate, I just mean writing it down on the side of the question. So this question says, in state X, Mr. Camp's eighth grade class consisting of 26 students was surveyed and 34.6% of the students reported that they had at least two siblings. All right, so a bunch of quantitative information there. So out of 26 students that were surveyed, right? We had 34.6%, which says they had greater than or equal to two siblings. So there's my translation. The next sentence says the average eighth grade class in the state is 26. Okay, so that's just telling us that Mr. Camp's class is not any different than the average class, the average eighth grade class um, across the state, uh, state X. The next sentence says, if the students in Mr. Camp's class are representative of students in the state's eighth grade classes, and there are 1,800 eighth grade classes in the state, okay, so there are 1,800 classes, which means that we'd be multiplying 1,800 by 26 to figure out the number of students, and I'm going to just figure that out now, because I prefer to find this information as I do it instead of after the fact. So that means that we should expect there to be roughly 46,800 students across the state. All right, so if there are, so and there are 1,800 eighth grade classes in the state, which of the following best estimates the number of eighth grade students in the state who have fewer than two siblings? Okay, perfect. So this percentage tells us those number of students who have greater than or equal to two siblings. So then the students who have fewer than two students must be the remaining percentage here to get up to 100% of the class. So if we were to go on our calculators and subtract 34.6 from 100, what we would find, and let me just do that because I don't want to do that in my head. If I were doing this on the real test, I would not do it in my head just to make sure I don't make any silly errors. So what I get here is 65.4% had to be less than two siblings, less than two sibs. So if I have 46,800 students total across the state, I'm going to take that 46,800. I'm going to multiply that by 0 0.654. This is the 60, this is the decimal form of 65.4%. Whenever we're doing math with percentages, we always convert it back to decimal form. So now I'm going to go back to my calculator and multiply 46,800 times 0.654. And what I get is that we expect there to be 30,607.2 students that have fewer than two siblings. The question does say, which of the following best estimates, which means we're not looking for an exact answer, which means that our answer here must be choice C because 30,600 is the closest to 30,000. 607.2.